Descending safely, understanding the phrase. Hello and welcome to our English learning series. Today, we're going to explore a common phrase in English, descending safely. This phrase is often used in various contexts, and understanding it can help you communicate more effectively in English. Let's dive in. Descending safely is a phrase made up of two words, descending and safely. Let's look at each word separately. Descending. This is the present participle of the verb, descend, which means to go or come down. It can refer to a physical movement downwards, like walking down a hill, or a decrease in something, like temperature. Safely. This is an adverb describing how the action is being performed. Safely means in a safe manner, without danger or risk. When combined, descending safely means coming down or decreasing in a way that avoids harm or danger. Descending safely can be used in various scenarios. 1. Physical movement, such as a person or an object moving downwards. For example, the hikers focused on descending safely from the steep mountain. 2. Aircraft and transportation, referring to the safe lowering of altitude. E.g., the pilot concentrated on descending safely through the turbulent weather. 3. Figurative use, in situations involving decrease or reduction, like in finance or emotions. For instance, after the initial panic, the stock market started descending safely to more stable levels. Let's look at some sentences using, descending safely. 1. In sports, the climbers were trained in descending safely from great heights. 2. In everyday life, during the fire drill, the children practice descending safely down the emergency staircase. 3. In professional contexts, the company's debt is finally descending safely, indicating a turnaround in its financial health. Understanding the phrase, descending safely, enhances your ability to describe actions and situations involving downward movement or decrease in a secure manner. We hope this video has been helpful in expanding your English vocabulary and comprehension. Keep practicing, and see you in our next lesson.